Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Just a quick update here to emphasize the need to hold the wave too low, which was here at $33.70. If this wave two in orange doesn't hold it, it would really seriously call into question the bullish case that the low was in here on the 18th of June. Yeah. Um, it would definitely call this into question because it would invalidate one likely bullish scenario. Um, and I would really struggle to make it work otherwise. I mean, then we would have to say all of this was wave one, but the, the problem is we can count this as an impulse, yeah, one. It only makes sense this is a two, yeah, and then this can't be a three, so it has to be a one. But if we come down too much to make it work as a one, two, yeah, it, it could be something else, but we need to look at it then. But it would just invalidate one very likely and one of the most uh, straightforward and most likely bullish scenarios, which again would put more emphasis on the bearish case here for Solana. Okay, so it's very, very clear. If we can hold the wave two here, but again, we've come down quite a lot already. Um, and again, we, we can look at the FIB retracements for that. Yeah, we've now we've now reached also the 88.7% FIP level. So the thing is here, if we go below the 88.7, 34.65, and then it is getting quite likely already that we're going to break 33.61 as well. Yeah, because below the 88.7% FIP level, it just gets very unlikely that it still is a wave two. Um, it will come down very much already anyway. Yeah, it has come down quite a lot anyway, but below the 88.7 is normally unlikely for a wave two. Um, especially on the shorter time frame. Again, it can still technically be a wave two until we break below $33.70. And if we break below that level, then we just have to assume that all of this might've just been an A, B, C correction. And we're coming down once more in a five wave move, which might end somewhere down here. And maybe we will then finally reach my original target that I gave you between 19 and $21. That was based on Fibonacci extensions, but also that was based on the previous support that we had all the way here uh, in June 2021. Yeah, there was a lot of support there in that area. And uh, this is really what we need to do now. What is the best evidence that wave two is complete? So first of all, we need to turn around, see some bullish price action, but um, it would definitely be on the way up, be good and important to break above that 39 or nearly $40 level. Yeah, in the first instance, would need to break above $40 that would give a good indication that here indeed wave two is finished. Then we would need to take out the 4260 level and then $45. And then the most important one below which it was always anyway um, um, still a risk to come down lower is here the $48, $41 level. Yeah, so only above that level we can really invalidate one large bearish scenario. We need to get above that level. And uh, obviously we're still quite far away from that. So this is the, the area that I've called out from the beginning that we wanna see decisive price action above that level to rule out one very likely bearish scenario. And we were on a good way, but we are now coming down again quite strongly. Again, it doesn't invalidate anything for now, but if we go with that wave two here below 32.70, sorry, 33.70, then yeah, it really calls into question the case for a low here and the more bullish wave count. And we would then favor probably the bearish one, unless I can come up with a, a, a another op alternative that makes really sense. Yeah, and that is my view about Solana here at the moment. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.